trace here. So I can't get enough of this stamping and coloring on wood. It's really so much fun. So I decided to make a project for my daughter Bethany's birthday coming up. And she really loves sunflowers. And so I'm going to make this frame for her. And I'm going to use two stamp sets. The Sunflower Wishes stamp set. And I'm also going to use the Define Emotions stamp set. And I'm going to use some Stazon ink, some Sargent Art coloring pencils, some sand eraser from Tombow, Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean, and Fisker's stamp blocks, and a scrap piece of paper. And I've already done a video on this technique a few days ago. So if you've missed that video, go back and watch it. It'll be really fun. I do a couple of different projects for with the wood. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with these stamps that are from Define Emotions and they're really encouraging. So I thought that would be great on a frame to kind of look at at all times. So I'm going to start with the Courage and I'm going to ink that up. Take the cover off here. So I'm going to ink that up with the stays on ink. I'm going to stamp it off just once. I know I have used these before so they should be conditioned pretty well. And I'm just going to stamp it's a little difficult because I have the little prongs behind it of the, you know, the center piece that has the prongs in the back to hold that in. I have those on there. So I just want to stamp that down. I'm going to stamp around the whole center different sentiments here. So next I'm going to stamp the large sunflower randomly in spots, probably on the four corners and then random other spots. I also wanted to tell you to be sure to know where exactly where on the frame the bottom is. Where you can tell where the hole is, that's where the stick goes for holding it or standing it up straight. So when you're stamping out, make sure you know exactly where the bottom is so you have the design that you really want. I've had students time and time again realize that a little too late. <laughs> and so when you're cleaning the stamps, you want to use your Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean and it works fantastic on this stays on ink. Just squirt that down you can see how much ink I've gotten off already. So here's a clean spot and you want to just clean that off and it takes that off very well. You can see how much ink just came off that stamp. And I do recommend cleaning that as you go and putting it away where it goes. Just keeps things nice and organized. So I finished stamping and I like how it turned out, but the next part is to color. So I've got my pencils ready and this Tombow sand eraser is perfect for this project. If you get any spots that you got ink on or messed up the stamping a little bit or in even coloring, if you get outside the lines, this is perfect for wood. So give that a try. So I'm just going to jump in and start coloring. I probably will color the leaves first. Let's do, let's do leaves first. And so I'm going to color that and then I'm going to move on to the sunflowers. So I'm going to finish that all up and get right back with you. So the coloring is just about finished. 
I wanted to show you how I achieve this different colors. So for the leaf, all I did was do it in the darker color the entire leaf. Really quick and simple. Just coloring it in in that one darker color. Then I took the next lightest green and every other section I colored in that on top of the darker color. And then on this side, just every other section of leaf. Then I went back and darkened up the darkest one and made it a little bit in the centers around the edges just coloring it in a lot better than what it was <clears throat> and then I gave it a little more defined vein in the center and the edges And that will finish up the leaf, darkening it a little bit as I was telling you before, the layers of color look a lot better. And you don't want to press too hard because then it actually imprints onto the, the wood. Then I had one more section. Um, to achieve this golden color for the sunflower, I laid down a layer of orange first, and then I went over it with the yellow. And it gave it a, a nice color of goldenish yellow, not so stark yellowish color. And so there you have it. That's all set. I think my daughter will really love it. And give this a try. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Love to hear what y'all think. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.